one jab. Go. There you go. Ready for it? Nice. Oh, nice. Ah. Okay. That'll live. You went a thousand miles from land. All right, Steven. Bunch big chunks on your side. <clears throat> this is what we call a windrow. Um, in this area of the Sargasso Sea is where this plant, Sargassum, collects. And in these little floating patches is also where um, debris, including plastic debris, collects. And found a spot that's pretty prolific today. Um, it's Monday, the 1st of February, 2010. Right now we're uh, roughly 350, 400 miles of what we believe to be the epicenter of the North Atlantic Gyre. And yeah, we're coming across some pretty dense pollution here. Uh, we've been collecting it for um, about an hour now and uh, came on deck to dolphin surfing with the boat and boom, we're in a garbage dump. So plastic is not biodegradable, but it's photodegradable, which means UV light breaks it down. But when it's been in the ocean for a while, fouled by marine organisms, this prevents light from being able to break it down and it can make it persist a lot longer in the, in the ocean. So we just came across another windrow. That's an area where currents converge and we find these long trails of sargassum, this brown al algae, um, but also lots of trash mixed in. So we just pulled out this plastic bucket and we found a trigger fish inside that's so big that it looks like it can't get out. We think maybe it swam in, swam in as a baby and it spent his life living in this plastic bucket. So you can see it's stuck way back in there. I mean, it's taller than the opening of this container. So it must have swam in and it was jailed in here for the rest of his life, stuck because of its size. We're gonna try and take gonna it try out. And, try and get him out now. Oh, oh my God, he's yeah. still alive. You can't get out, look, he's stuck in there. Oh, wow, man. Holy just on the uh, southern end of a hurricane about 800 miles north of the North Atlantic. And this is all um, what you're seeing from that. Um, this is a full gale, uh, pretty massive seas, biggest I've ever seen for sure. And uh, luckily it's not terribly cold, um, but it's full. Full harness is strapped in uh, on deck now. And uh, as you can see, I'm not stepping out. Jesus! <laughs> oh no, he can wheel you in. No, hold on. <laughs> This is our last sample from the trawl, and <laughs> I'm doing a chemical analysis of it. Jules, guinea pig on board. 225 parts per million. We monitor his, oh! his... Sausage. 
temperature, his heart rate, as he ingests chemicals. 225 parts per million PCBs. He's kind of the scientific hunter S. Thompson.